The 2019 Kia Optima has been spied completely undisguised and those images have gone viral on the web. From the spy shots, it is clear that the 2019 Kia Optima features a radiator grille quite similar to the Kia Cadenza along with square-shaped headlights, new fog lights, redesigned bumper and air intake. Not much is known about the engine and transmission options that would be offered with the new Kia Optima. The existing Optima comes in eight different engine versions and three different transmission options. The car would be launched in South Korea this year, followed by other markets around the world. Two Japanese auto giants, Toyota and Suzuki, have inked the MOU to launch electric cars in India by the year 2020. According to the MOU, both companies will strive to improve vehicle electrification technologies in the country. The MOU also states that Suzuki will produce the cars and supply some of them to Toyota. Toyota's role will be to provide technical support. Suzuki's newly opened lithium-ion battery plant in Gujarat will also play a major role in this entire operation. In addition to lithium-ion batteries, electric motors and other major components would be locally procured for the production of EVs in India. Since the Indian government wants electric cars on the road by 2030, most automobile companies are prioritizing them by 2020 so that they have a healthy portfolio by 2030. The Datsun Radigo AMT has been launched in India starting at a price of rupees 3.81 lakhs. The car has been launched in two trims. The TO trim will cost you rupees 3.81 lakhs while the TS trim will come in at rupees 3.96 lakhs. This means that the AMT versions cost rupees 21,000 and rupees 23,000 more than their manual counterparts. The main highlight of the AMT versions is of course the 5-speed AMT gearbox which drives power from the 999cc engine to the front wheels. Like other AMT equipped cars on the market, the Redigo transmission can be used in a sequential like manual mode as be. Like other AMT equipped cars on the market, the Redigo transmission can be used in a sequential like manual mode as well. Unlike the Quid AMT which shares its underpinnings and engines with the Redigo, the AMT on Datsun's budget hatch also features something called the Rush R mode which is meant to make commute in cities a bit easier. Purana Designs has taken inspiration from a Harley Davidson Ion 883 and transformed a Royal Enfield Thunderbird 350 and has named it Abdias 633 and has named it as Abdias 6.33. The bike has now received a custom diamond stitch seats, peanut tank, chopped front and rear fenders which have been designed to look like the iconic Harley Davidson bike. Most of the body of the bike has been given a matte black finish except the fenders and the tank which has received a glowing red paint. The drag style handlebars feature bar and mirrors and bullet type indicators. They have also replaced the twin pod instrument cluster with an all digital unit. Engine of the Thunderbird 350 has been kept unchanged and the bike has been given a fake smoke exhaust just to mimic the look of the Ion E83. Brakes are the same 280 mm front and 240 mm rear disc that is found in the stock Thunderbird. Euro 4 version of the Ducati Diavel has been launched in India at rupees 19.73 lakhs. The new Diavel uses forged Marchesani wheels which are exclusive to this variant. The bike also gets a new paint scheme with new livery and new Zircote coated pipes. The bike runs on the 1198.4 cc L twin engine producing a peak power of 152.2 PS and a peak torque of 123 Nm. The engine is mated to a 6 speed transmission with a slipper clutch. Electronic package includes multiple riding modes, power modes, Ducati traction control, ABS and hands-free.
Details of the India Spec Swift has been officially revealed by Maruti Suzuki. The car will be offered in 12 different variants and will be powered by the same 1.2 liter K12 petrol and 1.3 liter DDIS diesel engine. Each engine option will have 6 variants, taking the total to 12 variants. Only the higher-end variants will be offered with automatic manual transmission. The new Swift is based on the hardtech platform and dimensionally is 40mm wider and 20mm longer. On the inside, it gets features like a Smart Play infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, voice recognition, Bluetooth audio streaming, inbuilt navigation and a reverse camera. The car is now available for booking and can be booked with a deposit of Rs 11,000. Yamaha India has launched the 2018 Yamaha FZS FI at Rs 86,042. The new bike comes fitted with a rear disc brake. The bike also gets a new alloy wheel design and new rear view mirrors. The 2018 Yamaha FZS FI gets an FZ Shield logo on the fuel tank and the tuning fork logo on the tank extensions. As we have said earlier, instead of a drum brake at the back, the 2018 Yamaha FZS FI comes fitted with 220M disc brake at the back. As far as engine is concerned, the 2018 Yamaha FZS FI continues with the same 149cc single-cylinder mill with fuel injection. The engine is capable of giving out a max output of 13.2 PS and a max torque of 12.8 Nm. Second generation Q5 has been launched by Audi in India starting at Rs 53.25 lakhs, going up to Rs 57.6 lakhs for the topmost trip. The new Q5 has been fitted with a 2.0 litre diesel engine, made it to a 7 speed dual clutch transmission. The engine is capable of churning out a peak power of 190 HP and a peak torque of 400 Nm. Power from the engine is sent to all the four wheels of the car through the Quattro system. The ERAI certified efficiency for this model, batched as the 35 TDI, is 17.01 kmpl. The new Q5 is underpinned by Volkswagen's MLB Evo platform, which makes it almost 90 kg lighter compared to its predecessor. On the inside, the car gets virtual cockpit all-digital instrument cluster and an 8.3-inch freestanding screen for the MMI system with navigation and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. The 2018 Bajaj Avenger 220 has been priced at Rs 93,466. For this year, Bajaj has only updated the Avenger 220 since it is the better selling variant of the bike. The updated 220 gets a host of additions. Important among them is a new headlight with LED daytime running lights and a digital backlit instrument cluster. The instrument cluster would have orange light on the street and blue on the cruiser. The new Avenger would also get a moon white paint scheme. Mechanically, the new 2018 Avenger 220 remains unchanged. The bike still runs on the 220cc single-cylinder engine, producing 18.8 HP and 17.5 Nm of torque and comes mated to a 5-speed transmission. Even though we'd expect to see it on this update, ABS has still not been introduced. Bentley has unveiled its Bentiga V8 petrol model. The car will sit just below the W12 engine model. The new V8 engine is of 4.0 litre capacity and can produce a peak power of 550 HP and a peak torque of 770 Nm. It can propel the car from 0 to 100 kmph in just 4.5 seconds. The car has a top speed of 289.6 kmph. The same engine also powers the Porsche Panamera Turbo. Externally, the new model is largely unchanged from the W12 Bentega. All the red painted front brake calipers are a subtle hint at the car's new engine. It also has a new 22-inch alloy wheel design. 
and the V8 gets altered front grille and tailpipe design.